our first one. So now suddenly we had all this extra space, right? So we were working with uh, compression technologies at the time. We weren't sure which compression technology we would use, or if they would work, because we were all stupid. <laughs> at the time. No, about video, we absolutely were. So they brought me in, <laughs> thinking that I knew something about video. I was an actor and a director, but I don't know anything about video or technology. So we needed to take some uh, uh, placeholder video just to see if it would work. So we set up a camera in uh, Brett Sperry's office. Is that his name? Brett. Brett Spetty. Brett Spetty, I think is his name. His office, you might have heard of him. Uh, a little guy about this tall. <laughs> and uh, I sat behind his big desk in his big leather chair, and we brought in a, a video camera, which at that time was the size of a Volkswagen tool rack. And we stuck that on a tripod. And I sat behind the desk, and we just sort of made up some lines. And I looked at the camera, and I said, Oh, you need to go kill that guy, because I hate that guy. And, oh, you you didn't kill that guy very good, so go kill that other guy. That guy pissed me off, and he wouldn't kill this guy for me, so you better kill that guy. <laughs> and that was our test footage, right, for evil, evil bald guys. And we took that footage, and we ran it through our uh, compression technology at the time, which I don't remember. I think it was made by Hasbro. I don't know. And uh, we started cramming it into the game in between missions where we could. And once we had some of that footage in, we were running it by our play testers who were, who were uh, uh, testing the actual engine, you know, the important stuff in the game. And a few of them said, hey, that kind of, bulk guy's kind of scary. And a couple more said, hey, that, that bulk guy's kind of stupid. I like him, you know, he's kind of funny. Hey, that bulk guy, he scared the crap out of me. And we had no money. We had no budgets at all, and they were expecting me to hire actors. And at the end of the day, I tested very well. I was in the room. <laughs> and that is, uh, in fact, how I, I came up with the role of Kane. It was also a matter of convenience because back in the day, we didn't have the sort of exclusivity contracts that, that uh, I know for a fact EA has now. When we needed a voice that needed to be recorded for an in-game uh, unit, piece of dialogue, 